I thought about all the years it took to get to this point, all the naysayers, everyone that kind of doubted me. And, and like I put in so much work over the years to get to where I was at. You know, many, many people didn't believe. I've always believed that I can do this. January 2005, we committed to a show, which was a local show from my house. Three, four months later, I found myself doing my first show, and that night, I made a commitment. I'm quitting the wrestling team and I'm gonna pursue bodybuilding full time. I literally fell in love with that whole process. And the whole process of going from you know this to that toward you know that final package, everything just kind of just like wowed me. It took me a while. I mean, that second year, I was about 120 pounds. Just year by year, I just put on four or five pounds. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make this jump and, and go for it. You need to see teeth, and you got them. And if you don't show them, then if you're standing next to the hungry athlete, and you ain't saying it's you, then you're gonna get showed up. We don't want that. So every day, you know, the pressure, the stress, the cameras, the... Remember just being the hungry athlete. It's the honest effort that will come from it. Honest effort that's built into this idea that I want this. Who's the hungry athlete? How do you show it? By doing what I am saying right now. This thing is not about genetics. It's not about something you don't have. You have everything you need right here. Only thing you need to do now is command it, control it, use your instrument. You get me? Going forward. Every day, if I'm being the hungry athlete, I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna think about it so much that I'm probably gonna do 20 things today, tomorrow, that will allow me the next time somebody sees me, I'm gonna murder this. Because I keep that almost underdog mentality, almost like I feel like I'm, I'm not there yet, it, it makes me hungrier. I have to tell myself I'm the underdog. And it's gonna make me even hungrier, more focused, more dedicated. And um, like I said, we're not done. You know, I always told you I don't go backwards. Like, I'm not going to place anything less than what I've ever placed. Yeah. That's always my focus. No, I'm never happy with anything. Like, I'm ready right. to grow everything from top to bottom. I know what it feels like to win. I know what it feels like to lose. So I've been in this position. He's hungry, I'm hungry. It's just a matter of who wants it more that day. We have a goal, how many we want, and we know what it takes to get there. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna replicate this year as far as the package, bringing a better package. Make sure the conditioning is gonna be there. I know there's a lot of hungry guys coming up. There's been many times that I've been doubted, counted out, you know, told that it was impossible. But I use that negative energy and turn it into a positive thing. Put everything into it. I didn't miss a beat. Whatever it took, I did it. I knew that what my goal was, and the only way to get there was to continue to stay in that path. I'm gonna do whatever the hell it takes. I'm doing whatever it takes. I'm doing things that no one else is doing. I tell myself, I'm doing what they're not doing. And don't forget, no plan B. Let's go. I'm ready to show the world all the hard work myself and my team and putting in. I honestly believe in my heart and soul that this is the year. There's no plan B. We're coming one thing and one thing only.
there's no better rush, no better feeling. Starting a process, seeing your body change week by week by week, getting better and better. It's all an uphill journey for me. And every year I try to, I tell myself I can't go backwards. And I always have to bring a better package every single year. But this ain't about the name. This is about the actions that are expressed because of the way you think. You're a giant killer because your actions say, yo man, I am relentless when it comes to doing the work that I need to do to get this shit done. You know, I think true champions, the way that they handle themselves in defeat really shows a lot about who they are as a person, as this character, and those are the things that matter to me. So now it's, it's about going back, making sure that we're better, making sure that we're doing what we need to do, Say that he's maxed out. I don't think he's maxed out. We prove that every year. How much time, how much work you put into bringing your physique to the next level? They don't call him the giant killer for no reason, so you guys better watch out. There's no plan B.